Okay. Well, welcome in to Food Fridays. Had a few people, saw people pop in, pop out. Hello. Welcome in. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you humoring me and enjoying the food on Fridays and uh, my evil plan. I am, I bring it every day and my name is Kelly and my evil plan is to get people trying some recipes that they normally wouldn't try and to try some healthy recipes. And I hope, you know, this inspires you a little bit to try something new. So yay. So anyway, we got some people and thank you all so much for coming. Okay. So we got the VJ raid. Woohoo. We get Mora, I see, mindfully crocheted, yarning for a smile. Good to see you. Yarnatopia. Love it. And um, I'm going to just read through Shirley Bain. Hello. She's saying hi to everybody. Don Yarn Doll, welcome in. Swoop like me. Hey, I'm going I'm going for the bottom to the top. We have uh oh, oh, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? And uh yes, I think that's everybody. Got Don, VJ, Shirley, Mora, Kim. Don Yarndall, Don, Bonnie, there you go. VJ Ray, Tamika, there you go. Um, Zoila, woohoo, it worked. Way to go, VJ. I know that's awesome, right? I need to do that more. See, you know who used to do that was uh, Ursula. Ursula was amazing. She always did that. So hopefully she'll do that some more this year. But anyway, you see my crazy stove here. Got a lot going on. So this is my second time doing a uh, souffle. And have any of you guys had a souffle? And the ingredients are pretty simple, and I have them in the description. Oh, and also, um, shout out to uh, Drizzle Stank, uh, who wrote my theme song. Love him so much. He's probably out there somewhere. And we got Melanie. Good to see you. And I said hi to Shirley. And yay, Nana Michelle. Let me see. What did Nana Michelle say? Yes. Crochet at work. Yes, that did work. And Zoila's here. I saw Swoop. So everyone's saying hey. We got Moises. Long time no see. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, anybody else? Anybody? You've never made one. You've never had one. Okay. So I'll tell you the little the little history of this. Um, right now, I'll just go through the ingredients real, real fast. It, this is a French dish. And I babysat for a lady when I was in college that was from France. And uh, she would make one every Friday. And it seemed to me that it's pretty simple. <laughs> well, not simple. You can mess this up. Let me tell you. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. But uh, basically, you have milk. I'm just going to look at the instructions here. So we have milk, a little bit of milk there. We have flour, which you're going to make a little bit of a roux. We have uh, butter. It's, it's in the dish. It's hard to see. Um, you have eggs. And what you do is you separate the egg whites and the egg yolks. So I'm going to be real careful when I do that. And then right here, I've got my mixer. And I'm going to beat up. This, basically, I'm going to whip the egg whites. And you want to whip them into white peaks. So it's sort of, they're sort of meringue. -y. And then you basically do the uh, flour ingredients into the, you fold the egg whites in kind of at the end, throw it in the oven at 375. And it takes between 35 and 50 minutes, give or take. And then you put cheese. So that's the whole thing. So you can do, so souffles can be sweet or savory. I'm going to do a cheddar cheese souffle with a little bit of Parmesan added into it just to kind of give it a little flavor. And uh, then you put it seasoning. So you have, uh, there's like garlic powder. You can put in salt, pepper. Uh, I know there's something I'm missing. <laughs> oh, nutmeg. Some of the recipes have nutmeg in it. It's like a, like a half a teaspoon. So a really small amount. And then what else? Garlic powder, nutmeg. And then you use cream of tartar to make the eggs whip up, the egg whites. So what I did was I separated everything out and I'm basically gonna put this together. And then these are the dishes. Now, I don't have a deep one of these dishes. I probably need one, but these are these uh, casserole dishes. And I just buttered this to, to make sure it doesn't stick. So that's kind of what's happening there. But um, does anybody know what a roux is? You do a roux with a lot of things in uh, cooking. Does anybody know what a roux is? I think it's R-O-U-X, I believe. Yes. Oh, Nightbot got you. Yes. <laughs> night, not, uh, Nightbot, oh, miss somebody. Uh-oh. Let's see. Yes. Oh, the temp, baker convection. So I'm just doing regular baking. And um, I, I'm afraid to do convection because I've never done it. Convection can, can cook a very long time, uh, Shirley. And what happens is um, 
I bring it every day. Do we whip them? Whip them really good? We do. <laughs> Crack that whip. Yes. Beat those eggs. Okay, I got you. I see. I, I missed a few things in the chat here. But thank you so much for bearing with me. And um, so what I'm going to do is, oh, Zoila saying hi to everybody. I love it. And Swoop, thank you so much for coming. Yay. Anyway, so this is um Good Friday. So I, I don't know, like it sounds weird to say happy Good Friday. You know what I mean? But at least the, the, the good thing is, you know, we're all with our family and hanging out. And that's usually what we do. Um, my husband and I had the nerve to try to go to the flea market today slash farmer's market. That was a hot mess because everybody was in there. So we left. <laughs> oh, you tried to convect everything. Ah, and what did Siri do? Oh, you know what a roux, a roux. Yeah, I got you. So a roux is basically you take flour and then you, you whip in butter and then you put your liquid in and then bring it to a boil and it sort of gets the uh, souffle thickening. Yeah. All right. So anyway, let's get started. And uh, let's see, I'll show you my egg and my eggs. I'll show you my, um, oh my goodness, what is this? Cheese. So this is the cheddar cheese that I have right there. So that looks pretty good. And uh, what else? I think that's it. So we're ready to go. Woohoo. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to work myself up here. <laughs> Gloria. Hey. Yeah, convection. So I don't know. I mean, we'll try that. We, I had, we have a convection oven right now that we bought like back in the, well, I won't even tell you how long ago we bought it, but it was great. And um, we have, in our, we have a, uh, what is this thing? Air, air fryer. fryer. We have an air fryer. That's a convection oven, an air fryer, a regular baker. And I think it toasts even. Yeah. It does one other thing and broils. So it does all these things. So, but I noticed that um, we had an older version of the convection oven and what, in the, the older versions of the convection oven, what I what I've noticed is they tend to make everything um, dry just a little bit. So just be careful. I know like some of the older ones. So we had and then we also bought one of those ovens from Home Depot that, you know, the 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 uh, installed oven. And when I used the convection on that one, it was kind of dry, too. Like I had to really take things out a few minutes early. So that was kind of but but I think they're much better now. Yes. Oh, you go 25 degrees less. Ah, that's smart. But I was always, you know, like babysitting it. So anyway, what I'm doing right now is I'm melting the butter. So let me change place here. Hopefully I'll do this correctly. And uh, but anyway, this is exciting. It's Friday. We made it. I can't believe it. We made it. We made it. We made it. There we go. All right. So let me switch. Make that one bigger. There we go. Nope, that's not as big as I want it to be. Air fry cooks things too fast. Yes, yes, that is the thing I've noticed. So you really have to be careful. So like the the speed of it's great, but then I feel like I'm babysitting the food way more than I need to. Mm -hmm. So that's the only tragic thing that I hate. But anyway, so this is the butter right here. So I have it on low. I'm kind of melting it really nice and low. And this is three tablespoons of butter. And then in terms of the roux, what I'm going to do is this is the flour. So this is three tablespoons of flour, which you can barely see because it's white on white. <laughs> but I put them in these little ramkins just to separate everything out so I can think, you know, so I can realize what I'm doing. But yeah, that's what I think so too. Yeah, sometimes they go a little fast. Yeah, a little faster than I would like. Yep. Gotcha. And then I got some fancy Parmesan cheese, which I'm going to add a little bit of this. And this is already pre-shaven. And I don't know if you can see this. I may have to have you open this. I think I did open this last night. Yep. So it's kind of pre-shaved. Pre -shaved. And uh, so I'm going to just put a little bit in that just for, for funsies. But I just buttered the bottom of the dish. And you can actually flour that if you want. And you make cookies in it. Oh, yeah. See, I bet that's good. See, and you know how cookies, you want them now. <laughs> so, you know, you understand. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a whisk. There we go. And I'm just going to whip, whip, bleh, whisk this around a little bit while this melts. And then we'll see what happens. So, but I have this going really slow because I don't want to burn it. So right now I'm preheating the oven uh, to 375. So it's on. It hasn't beat yet. I think it probably just beat. It beat. So it's ready. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's ready to go. Yeah. All right. So then you do, what you do is they say to use four egg yolks and five egg whites which is like, I don't know. <laughs> what does that mean? It's, it doesn't add, right? 
Yeah, kind of annoying. I don't know, but that's that's what they recommend in the recipe. So it's crazy. All right. So let's see what happens. Okay. So I'm gonna put the flour in. Oh, gun line. Good to see you. How are you, Hannah? And welcome, uh, happy Friday. So anyway, I start, I'm starting the roux, and you see how it thickens up here? Yeah, you can see that pretty good, and I'll try to bring that a little closer. But you see in the bottom there, it's thickened up. Yeah, let me, oh, one more, let me do one more shot. There it is. Yep, so you put that in there. Okay. And you put your, uh, so what I've got in here, I've got the nutmeg, I've got the um, garlic powder, um, salt, pepper, and uh, one more thing. I can't remember. Oh, well, it'll come to me. <laughs> but the but what the seasoning that you want to put in there. All right, so you put that in there. And then now I'm going to put the milk. Let me see if I can stick it in there a little bit. And then the last thing you're going to add to this once you do the milk, you have to bring this to a boil. So I'm going to try to be careful that I don't burn this. Because you don't, the, the, the worst thing you can do is burn this. And uh, you'll be very sad. <laughs> Yep. So, I'm just gonna whisk this around like this. Debbie Robertson. Oh, Debbie! I, I think I saw her, but maybe yeah. I didn't. Hello. Yeah. What you're cooking. <laughs> oh, this is the uh, souffle. Yes. And then the last thing. All right, so this is good. So we got this. And then the thing with this is, once you do this roux, you have to let it cool because you're gonna put the egg yolks in here, and so you just have to bring this to a boil. This is kind of the longest process of this thing that's annoying like this is the setup i guess I, that's why i would call it the setup yep all right so i'm gonna keep going so i'm gonna let this come to a boil and then hopefully it'll thicken <laughs> and we'll see i'm gonna read the chat since this is still going hello hello gun gun line bees good to see you and uh kelly's cooking a souffle that is correct that is correct. So yes, Bonnie. yes. Yep, good to see you, Bonnie. So, is anybody traveling for the short, long holiday weekend? Or I guess it's a long, long weekend. Short holiday, long weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you, yeah, what you do with that. Yep. We're going to let that go. And it's, hopefully it'll come to a boil. I'm going to let it rest for a moment. But it smells delicious, actually. So the nutmeg, so I, I, there's a little bit of nutmeg and a little bit of garlic, and that's like, that's a winner. Let me plug this guy in while that's going. But yeah, oh, I did plug it in. Okay, so we're good to go. All right. Bonnie's traveling to the other side of Branson for her mother's. Oh, nice. Well, uh, hey, that's further than we're going. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll probably go to the Dollar Tree or something goofy like that and get snacks, <laughs> which is what we enjoy. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, Sounds good. Soyla's home. Yeah, she well, she's got her mom. She's busy. Yeah, it keeps her busy. Yeah. <laughs> no traveling. I know. We're I know we're probably gonna go to the Dollar Tree. We get bored. We love the Dollar Tree. Even though like we shouldn't go in there, but we do. Yeah. We enjoy the uh weird snacks. Not weird snacks, but the random snacks. Oh, this is starting to boil. Okay. This is it. Oh, the roux. So you see how thick this got? I'm going to pull this up so you can take a closer look. But look at that. That is beautiful. All right, it's done. I don't know if you can see how thick this is, but it's pretty thick. Yeah. yeah All so right. It's white, white on white. It's white on white. Yeah, white on white on white. Well, it's done. All right. Okay. I'm going to turn that down. Oh, that is crazy. Yeah, see how quick that is? All right. I'm going to let this cool for just a moment. And now this is the sad part. I have to wait for this to cool. <laughs> so you move that over. These are all my little... got to move all these things. So many things. But the last part is the cheese. i got to move these eggs. And i got to do one more egg. So I'm going to let that cool. But let me look at the chat. Oh, Zoila's laughing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she sounds like, hey, we're moving really... Yeah, we're going real far <laughs> to the Dollar Tree. I know it's tragic. Like, this is what we do. Yeah. We have to get a life, don't we? Mm. Like more of a life. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just going to break another egg. I'm going to do this fifth. I have four eggs in my little ramekin. So, I, so I'm so i going to do the fifth egg to add more egg white. 
So I'm going to, hopefully my skills at separating the egg will not fail me, but let's take a look and see what happens. <laughs> okay. So when you separate an egg, hopefully you try to split it down the middle and then you take, you let the white spill out. And I think you can see that. Yep. And you want the yolk to be separate. Okay. And I think I got it. That is beautiful. Steve Gilmore, then. Steve. Hello. Oh, Steve. Steve's in Baltimore. Ooh. So if you don't mind me asking, how is the uh, cleanup and recovery going on down there? Yes. Because you heard about the bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this yoke over here. But anyway, so that's good. Let me rinse my hands off. All right. Okay. So let's see. So we got Steve. Yes. Kelly's making the souffle. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I am. All right. So now I'm going to try to slide this over here. Hopefully this doesn't go too crazy, but we'll see. See what happens. So this is my uh, mixer and I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to do the egg whites now while we're waiting for the egg yolks. Let's see if we can get it in there. So there's the mixer. Whoops, got to go this way. There we go. I think I'm going to do it this way. I just got to get away from the... Uh... There we go. All right, so there's my KitchenAid mixer. So there's my... Let's see if that works. Oh, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. So there's the... Uh... So what I'm doing here is I'm going to put the egg whites in. And when you do... When you mix egg whites, you want them to be... Um, the pan that you're using has to be grease free or else they don't rise. But here's the rest. Here's the fifth egg white I'm pouring in there. And it's hard to see because it's very, very clear. But there it is. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on and we're going to beat the egg whites. And hopefully they'll behave. <laughs> Let's see. All right. So I'm going to do this. So I have the little whisk on here. You can see that. So let me lock this. And I got to measure the cream of tartar. And you just use a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And, uh, oh, I know what it was. I missed a prepared mustard. Yeah, you put prepared mustard. And do you guys know what prepared mustard is? Because that is a good question. And this is kind of what it looks like. Let me see. Prepared mustard. Oh, here it is. Ah, ground mustard. So let me put it here. So this is the other ingredient. I knew there was one more. So you need ground mustard, and it's a uh, spice that's dry. Okay. Yes. You're not showing. Oh, no, that's right. Uh, yeah, no, 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 I put it in the small one. See, you can't see. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's, 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 oh, okay. Uh, am I sing? Yeah, you're not. Am I solo? It's, it's, just, it's just the, uh. No, no, I didn't show it under there. Yeah. No, I didn't. No, I'm good. Right, so here's the prepared mustard. And I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but they make mustard out of this. It's dry. It's the dried plant. But anyway, so that's the last ingredient that you have to put into the, uh. I knew there was one more, one more spice. I couldn't remember what it was. It's prepared mustard. So I want to make sure I put that in there. So I'm going to turn on, there's going to be a little bit of noise. So hopefully you guys, um, just to warn you, if you have headphones on, here comes the noise from the mixer. Okay, so hopefully not too loud. Let me see. Not too loud. Oh, wrong plug. I guess that would help if I plug this in. <laughs> here we go. All right. So anyway, here comes the noise. All right. Oh, Mob's Place. Oh, hey, Ashley. Thank you so much. I'll put you on the screen for a second. There we go. All right. Oh, the bridge. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thanks, Ashley. And I'll come back to that in just a sec. I just want to make sure I get this one section done here. Okay. We're almost done. Almost got this. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, that bridge was crazy.
and you can see from the side that it's starting to fluff up. This is going to take a minute. Oh, hi, Miss Patty. Good to see you. Now I'm just going to show you this. We're about halfway done whipping them. But you see you get a little bit of a poofy thing there. And it's a little hard to see because it's white on white or white on silver. But it's they're starting to get little peaks. And what I'm going to do is just continue a little bit more and then... Hopefully the noise will be done. But good to see you, Miss Patty. Okay. All right. Oh, this is looking good. Oh, Lydia. Oh, good to see you, Lydia. Thanks for coming. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> All right. Hey. Almost there. That's good. Okay, so the whites are done. Okay. And the mixer is the perfect thing for this. And uh, let me see if I can pull that off. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's the piece. Oops, there we go. So you see that there? And that looks really good. And that's what you want. All right, so I'm going to unplug this, and then we're good. All right, now. So now we're going to throw this together. We're going to, you know, ah, Samoan, good to see you. Yeah. So anyway, so we're going to get back to the roux. Now let me move this out the way, and we're good. So those are the egg whites, and uh, let me just do it a little. I'll show you just a little. So these are the egg whites here. And, um, and as you see, you know, you get a nice little uh, thing there. Yeah. So nice little peaks. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Now, I think I'm okay. Maybe you, maybe you, you rewinded. Mm -mm. Yeah. Can you guys see me? Okay. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I think sometimes it, it rewinds itself, the uh, live stream. So just make sure you slide the red line to yeah. the right. Yeah, that happens. Yep. Okay. So anyway, so now we're going to get back to the roux, and I'm going to put the egg whites in here. So the thing is, you have to let this cool because the, you don't want the egg whites to cook. Yeah. No? Uh, no, I'm reading uh, Dave. What did Dave say? Hey, Dave. I had a banana smoothie for lunch. Oh. With peanut butter, yogurt, yes. ice cream, and five hot dogs. Oh, oh, okay. Wow. That's a lot, Dave. Hey, what you doing, bro? You're trying to like, are you trying to, um, <laughs> are you trying to execute a little is, early? <laughs> is there a food eating contest? Is there a food? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? <laughs> All right. So here's the egg yolks in there. So you see, you got this beautiful yellow color. Yep. And I'll come a little closer, but there it is there. Yeah. See how nice that yellow color is. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add the cheese. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Mm. Five hot dogs? Woo, that's a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> Is there like a bet <laughs> uh, Yeah. So too old to care? Hey, you're not late. You're good. No, no, you're good. <laughs> so anyway, so now I'm mixing in the uh, cheddar. And this is kind of lighter cheddar. You can, you know, you can use the mild cheddar, the dark, you know, the, 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 the sharp cheddar, things like that. Uh-oh, what happened? Said he made hot dogs for his kids and oh. he didn't want it, so I'm he ate it. He was forced to eat it. He was forced to eat it. No, I understand that because you don't want to waste the food. Yeah, it is. It's food's too expensive right now, isn't everybody? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy. Chop them up, put some spaghetti on it. Spe oh, yeah, I, I, I can't. <laughs> I'm trying not to do any of that anymore. It's so hard. Yep, kids. Uh... Yeah, no, kids are. 
It's terrible. It's hard to waste. You know what I mean? Yes. And uh, Miss Patty, if you want to drop your link and swoop, actually, just type Kelly in the chat. <laughs> Is your 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 newer to the groups? Yep. And then uh, people can uh, connect. And also, uh, too old to care. That's Nancy, I believe, right? I'm gonna put a few. So look at this. Look at these pieces of the Parmesan. That is gorgeous. I got this from Lidl, and um, Dawn. Oh, Dawn! Oh my goodness! Let's see. Enjoy she did. Oh, okay. She's been a member for six. So Ashley's been a member for ten 12. or twelve, and then uh, yeah, Dawn's been a member for six. Thank you. But I think she's been a member the whole time, actually. I forget how long I've had memberships. That's gonna put a little bit of uh, the Parmesan in here. Just for a little bit and then we're, we're just about done so now i'm just going to add the uh but look how pretty the color is this would be actually a good if you wanted to do mac and cheese you could actually do this <laughs> this would be a delicious cheese sauce i'm looking at this i mean it smells really good let me tell you <laughs> dave, dave wrote spaghetti and hot dogs you know but just an idea dave yeah, he likes that's what it can never go. No, I do vegan sausages. But to me, they're the same. Like vegan yeah, sausages really? and hot dogs, it's all the same. Really? Yes, kind of, sorta. But anyway, there it is. <laughs> this is nice and melted. Just a little bit more. Yes. So anyway, this smells really good, you guys. So you know, you use the ingredients that you have. Use the freshest ones that you have. Try to use real cheese, like cheese whiz. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's our, our we're like, no. These are like cheese whiz when we were kids. No. We're probably gonna I know oh, they're, crackers, but they're really. gonna hate us, you know, the Philadelphia. <laughs> You're like, they're really gonna hate us. I'm right up there with like I'm too old to care. All right, too old to care. <laughs> that's I'm too yes. Old to care. Okay. So now the last thing you want to do is you just wanna let me just make sure. I think that's melted enough. I think so. Looks good. But anyway, you just want to make sure it's nice and smooth. And uh, the eggs did not cook in there, which is the main thing. You just don't want them to cook because that would be nasty. Mm -hmm. Not nasty, but not, you know, you don't want scrambled eggs right now. Scrambled eggs and souffle, you know. No, no. I mean, you don't really want <laughs> scrambled <laughs> eggs. But anyway, a lot of times um, the lady that I used to babysit for would make chocolate souffle. Now, I hate to say that she didn't put enough sugar in it because it tasted like nothing. If you ever, you know, it didn't have any flavor, but I think if you use some, you know, nice semi-sweet chocolate with, I don't know, whipped cream. And I think that's what she put on there was whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Then she put that in there. Bonnie says block cheese, Siri. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so what I'm now I'm just doing is I'm just incorporating these in. And they said do about half and half. So we'll see how that goes. See, the thing with whipped, with, with whipped egg whites you want to keep them nice and poofy that's a scientific term yeah block cheese siri uh, <laughs> oh she had a, a typo yeah. I, not a typo but you know how siri oh, yeah because if you tell siri something blotch, si blotch right right <laughs> yeah, yeah siri messes with you so i'm just sort of combining this being a little bit you know easy with it not too hard but see how it's poofy and I don't know if you can see the, uh, but the, see the color is getting lighter. And that looks pretty good. All right. Here's the other half. And then we're, this sucker is going in the oven. Now we, and then we're going to have to wait. But this is good. So this is the process of making a roux. Was that you? Mm -hmm. I heard something go. Psh, that was a weird sound. Okay. Weird sounds happen. Okay. So we're going to keep going. So I'm going to add the rest of these. So this is four egg whites and a little bit of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar helps them poof up. And uh, now some of the uh, recipes, now they say to use, I use butter. They say that you can use margarine. I would not because margarine is really artificial. And they say it may clog your veins a little bit. Um, butter, ha although it does have some cholesterol, but it doesn't seem to uh, have any artificial ingredients in it. I mean, it's basically milk, cream, and uh, what else? Milk, cream, and salt, a little bit of salt. That's all butter is. So, but you look at the margarine and, and that uh, fancy crock stuff that people buy. There's some really creative stuff in there. <laughs> that stuff. Yeah, you don't want to use that. But anyway, so like I said, so here we go. Here's the last bit. We're going to put this in. What time is it? Ooh, it's 20 minutes. I did talk too much, but 
thank you guys so much for coming in again. I always appreciate all of the support on the channel. I think I passed my two year anniversary and I have to check the date on that. I can't remember. <laughs> March. It's somewhere around March. Mm -hmm. It was like no, around no, no. March 14th or like that, yeah. 20th. Yeah, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of, you know, I'm just excited. We made it. Mm -hmm. to make it baby. <laughs> better, baby. <laughs> 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 oh, Lydia, Lydia sat through the ads. Well, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they weren't too bad. You love the video games. Don't you hate when they do the um, bring it on, baby? <laughs> Bread and cheese. Yeah. Butter. B-U-T-T-A. All right, so it's done. I'm just going to mix it just a little bit more. And then we're going to pour this sucker in and get this into the oven because we have to. Because uh, it takes about 30 minutes. Yeah, so we're going to, you know. And this is the reason why I try to start like five minutes early just to sort of, you know, get everything going there. I'm sticking everything in the stove. So here is the, so here's the greased pan. And I greased it probably too much, but I really don't want this to stick. <laughs> but this is the consistency. You just want to make sure everything's incorporated. And they say scrape the sides and do such things like that. But uh, yeah, the what's that called? The yeah, the, the chocolate souffle was not my favorite, but I do like this one. And this would be good for like breakfast or brunch. Uh, but you know, but the lady, like I said, she used to use it for dinner. And her kids who were like three and two, two and three ate it. And they were just used to the French food. So I'm gonna pour this in now. And then we're going to stick this in the oven, and hopefully this will be pretty. <laughs> hopefully it'll poof up in the oven like it's supposed to, and then it'll be nice. But I think this is looking pretty good. As long as this uh, is incorporated, let me just put that in there. Okay. And I think that's it. So I'm just using a scraper, and we love these silicone scrapers. That just Shelly. Oh, Shelly. Hello, Shelly. How are you doing today? Yeah. Saw you on Facebook a little earlier. Yeah. Okay. So there it is. That's it. Bam. Yeah. That is the souffle. The m &T live and cooking. Okay. m and T's there. All right. Thank you for coming in. And then we're done. So that we're not done, but we're going to put it in the oven. <laughs> but it's right. It's all prepared to go. In. So one more time. Let's take a look. There we go. And there it is. All right. Sweet. All right. Here it goes. So we're going to put it in. I got it at 375. And we'll see how this goes. I'm going to try to get this in the middle of the oven. Okay. And then I'm going to move down from the camera and switch over. And then uh, you can see my lovely face. <sighs> Not really. I, I, you know, it's funny. Like when I cook, I feel like I just ran a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. Hold on. Let me change spaces. Okay. There we go. So boom, that's it. So what do you guys think of the souffle? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Let me see. There we go. Let me get to the chat. There we go. Back to the comments. But anyway, oh, let me put, uh, let me put, so we got Ashley. Remember 12 months. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Have you got Don Yarndall? Looks delicious so far, Kelly. Enjoy your meal. Thanks for coming in. And thanks for supporting the channel. All right. That's good. Okay, now, let's see. There we go. All right, so let's get back to the comments, and I'll try to go back up and see what I missed. You're still not on screen. No, no, uh, no, I am. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, no, no, it. I should be. Yeah, I should be. What is going on with your phone? I don't know. It's just not. Okay, let me, yeah. let me just see what's happening. Because my husband said he can't see me, which is weird. But I think I'm here. John Cena moment yeah, I don't know. You can't see me. But anyway, let me go to the comments. All right. Oh, oh, I know what it is. Let me go back here. Uh, comments and to the live. Here we go. Let me see. And live. Okay. Hopefully they can see me. <laughs> okay. Is everyone saying hi? Oh, no. She said we can't see you. Yeah, that's we can hear you. Oh, that's weird. Sure. All right. Let me see what's happening with the camera. Uh-oh. What is happening? Ooh, let me check my settings. But thank you for letting me know. Yeah, that's weird. Camera. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah, that's weird. But I guess, you know, it's funny. I heard that StreamYard was doing some things. Okay. Front camera. And that should do it. 
If not, we're having a situation. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Stop cam. Now, see, I can see myself on the stream yard, and you can't see me. So, hmm. Well, your avatar just popped up. Yeah, that means I'm on. I'm on. But you're, but not physically. Yeah. Wow, that is very bizarre. See, they said that these that this yeah. stream yard was acting weird today. Just Sally just did hashtag where is Kelly? Oh my gosh. Oh, I see it now. Ooh, there it is. Hold on. Yeah, that's really weird. Oh, so we have some people. We have TWP Popcorn, Ray's Yarn Addiction, Creatively Thinking, David, let's see, M-O, I think. Um, Tom is here in Patty Southern Kitchen, and Kevin. Myers. Anyway, over in Instagram. Let me try this again. What is happening? I don't know. She is Nancy. Hold on. Yeah. StreamYard is doing a number on my camera. And you said the avatar came down. Yeah, avatar came up and then that was it. Okay. Let me try one thing here. Oh, you know what I'm going to have to do? I have to call StreamYard. Just give me a second. Well, anyway, in the meantime, we're baking. I'm going to have to chat with StreamYard. And uh, refresh. Oh, refresh. Okay, thanks, VJ. <laughs> I'm going to try this. Let's see. Reload site. Changes you. Stage. There we go. I think that's it. <laughs> now she did it. Yeah, that refresh was good. BJ, I appreciate it. Oh, okay. there you go. <laughs> yes, I've never seen that happen before. Do, 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 do. Okay. Group effort. Group effort. Yeah. Well, so apparently my camera stopped. <laughs> it's a moment. So anyway, but we're done. So now we're just waiting. <laughs> she had a John Cena moment. You couldn't see her. Can't see me. Can't see me. <laughs> We have to cook for ourselves. <laughs> That's what Nancy said. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take a, I don't want to open the oven. They said like, what happens with the souffle? You can't keep opening the oven because it'll fall. So I'm going to turn the light on and stick my head in and see. Yes. Hashtag we found Kelly. I like it. <laughs> see, yeah. so apparently StreamYard's doing a thing today. Yeah. See, VJ had that problem because I was sort of in and out of hers. And, uh, but I could hear you fine. Like I was listening. <laughs> Okay. And the souffle will fall and I can't get up. Yeah, and we don't want that. <laughs> I fall and I can't get up. Wow, that is really weird, isn't it? Interesting. All right now. Yeah, see, I knew as soon as I turned over, like that was going to be the issue. Oh, if I, if I can have you put that in. And I think we're good to go. That's the, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. And then we're good. Yes. So let me, let me, I'm going to bend over and take a look here. I'm going to turn the light on. And. Ooh, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's looking good. It hasn't poofed up yet. But, uh, you know, we're, we're going to wait and see what happens. Yes. StreamYard being a brat. Yes. <laughs> but I could sort of tell that it, that it was doing something odd. But it's funny, on my screen, I could see myself both both cameras. But do-do-do-do. Yeah. <laughs> Gunlock is laughing at Shelly. Yes. Well, somebody, yeah, like, because I think VJ said that. And then somebody yesterday was saying they were having issues with StreamYard. And, uh, oh, now, oh, can you guys hear me at all? Oh, no. Now she's saying she can't hear. No. That's not good. <laughs> I think I'm in <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> okay. But she can see me. Okay. That's good. And there is Shelly. Shelly's link. Um, like me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I oh, appreciate okay. it. I okay, good. Oh, good. Whew. I'm telling you. See, this is live television, as they say. Even though it's not television, but it is sort of kind of TV. Yes. So, what are we doing this weekend, taking Mr. I Bring It? Taking over the world. We're taking over the world. Are we going to uh, crochet? Are you? Or, or No, I'm crocheting. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, probably going to do some gardening. Okay, gardening. So we're going to do that. Okay, so you can hear me. Good. 
Yeah, so this is the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, Bonnie's leaving me. Okay, bye, Bonnie. <laughs> oh, I'm good now. Okay. Whew. See you, Bonnie. Have a good weekend. Yes. And and when can we get on the boat with you? While the people are gone. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I want to go to the boat and hang out. Yes. Oh, it's live. Not, not Memorex. <laughs> oh, Kelly for Queen of the World. Well, thank you. <laughs> Surely. That's funny. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Yes. We're trying. We're trying to. Going to Hobby Lobby and Joanne. Oh, really? <laughs> the side eye? Hold on. Mm -hmm. Side eye. <laughs> It's live, not Memorex. It's Mo insane. Hey, and I'm good now. Whew. Relief. It's scary when that happens. Because I saw your screen was dead and mine was fine. So like, nice. Thanks, StreamYard. Vote for Kelly. Okay. Hashtag vote for Kelly. <laughs> nice. Yes. Hey, Brent Michelle. Good to see you. And uh, there's VJ. Well, VJ was here before, but hey. <laughs> She's saying hi to Samoan Watchman. And... Everyone's saying hello. Samoan Watchman's the most popular boy in school. Oh. Yes, I know. Oh, here it is. See, you're you're ahead of me. There it is. Four ninety nine. Woohoo! All right, now hold on. Let me get this oh, on the Samoan screen. Samoan dish next time. Oh, Samoan. Well, I made the. Hold on. Moco loco. I did that. Did you see the moco loco? That was good. <laughs> So, so give me an idea. Like it, uh, you told me to make the the bread, the potty mm -hmm. popo. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to watch the bread intake because we've been probably eating too much bread. <laughs> but thank you so much, Samoa and Watchmen. We're gonna do some pork. Pork. Shredded pork. Shredded pork. Wow. And other stuff. And other stuff. Um, what's that Hawaiian bread? See, I want to make that Hawaiian bread. So anyway, thank you for being a friend. And this is for Don and um. Actually, wherever you are. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and the confidant. And if you threw a party, invited everyone you knew. Yours would be the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, thank you for being a friend. All right. And I saw Arnie. Mm -hmm. Super busy. Oh, that's, yeah, of course, it's the day before a holiday. Yeah. Like, why does everybody try to do everything right before the holiday? You could have done this three days ago, but no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see how we're doing here. I'm looking at the clock. It's like 25 or about 25 in, 25 minutes in. I'm going to check. And I'm just sort of doing this by, hi, Arnie and Bren. And that's what uh, Shelly's saying. Hey. Shelly said just did an encore. Encore. <laughs> I know I love that show so much. I haven't seen it in a while. Soup's an amazing stream. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, I should have got a toothpick. Forgot a toothpick. They're over there, but I'll grab it. Toothpick. That way we can check it. And um MT, amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Swoop. Yeah, these are hard, <laughs> but they're fun. Like I'm trying to um somehow eat better, but it's hard. <laughs> it's really, really hard. And um, and we eat the same thing every day. Like uh, like my 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 husband's mother used to make. What was her? Come on, give us the menu, Moses. Oh, uh, red Thank rice. You. Uh, red rice. Sometimes pork chops. Sometimes hamburgers. Hamburger meat patties. My dad was very picky. Yep. Um, Lapanos sometimes. But pork anyway, chicken. his mom made the same thing almost every day. Yeah, she, <laughs> she kept him on a schedule. Well, he 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 had a schedule. He he liked to eat. Yeah. So, so, and that's what happens. We all get into that rhythm where you almost make the same thing. I have about six things that I make. And, um, oh, you missed the Finding Kelly. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, and, and there, Layla and Maya and much more is Arnie. And did you Fun Seeker? Let's see. I don't know if he put his other channel in yet. Let's see. Hide. Yes. Who the Knitter. And... Oh, they look, I could not, hold on. I cannot find my cups like the Stanley look-alike cups. Stanley, I don't know. Let's see what that is. Stanley cups. Like, Stanley cups? Like hockey? Like hockey? No, I don't know. 
Oh, oh, hey, Patty. Everyone's saying hi, Miss Patty. Yes, you're a fun seeker also. And thanks for stopping. So anyway, but that's it. We've been, you know, it's been a really interesting, you know, process. And I'll just talk a little bit about, I don't have any major, like, like usually I talk about, even though I shouldn't talk about it with food, but usually after we're done, I always look for recalls that happen in the news. And I don't think there's anything major that's going on right now, which is, I think so far so good. But, um, you know, we're, we're really uh, trying to, uh, you know, we always try to keep a look at the uh, food and see what's happening in the market. Yeah. So, and the one thing, like, the, the I think the latest thing that we talked about before was, like, the Quaker oatmeal bars were all, like, recalled um, for some things. And that, and that was a pretty big recall. And it was still supposed to be going until, I think, the end of March, which is basically, you know, today. Hashtag Kelly. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and there's um Arnie's second channel. So let me I'm gonna take a I'm gonna bend over and take a second look and see where we're at. But uh there we go. So are you going on later, Arnie? Ooh, I think this looks pretty good. Ooh. It's got a little bit of a little bit of a thing. This is looking all right. Okay. Oh, Shelly, yes. Shelly is not a content creator because she's a supporter. Yes, she is. We appreciate you. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we love supporters and a content creator. Oh, and also, let's say hi to the uh, lurkers, if there's anybody out there. Uh, we're going to say hi to the replayers. Thank you so much. And and we, and we appreciate the live studio audience. <laughs> so that's cool. I don't think it'll be going on later. Yeah, you are going. Okay, I had a feeling you might. Cool. All right. Yeah, usually it goes on Friday night. Um, any other announcements? Since we have, we still have time. <laughs> PSAs, PSAs, public service announcements. Let's see. But I'm going to look and see if there's anything new and exciting. But we're still going. You know, it's looking good. Um, but anyway, the USDA is where you can check any kind of um, food recalls. And then the FDA.gov. So the USDA.gov and the FDA.gov, you can find um, food recalls. And I have the links in the description and I have like a ton of links in the description and it's all talking about, you know, food. Yes. PSA. I'm still crazy. Nice. <laughs> yes. I know. So we're saying yes. Yeah. We'll see how that is. <laughs> yeah. We're all, we're all uh, one, one, one step away from, you know, that place too. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yes. We, we love it. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> but uh, let's see what else. Yes. Oh, so here's recall. So this is the, I'll show you what the site looks like. This is, um, this is on my phone. The United States Department of Agriculture. Oops, let me put that down for a second. And um, this is, this. the USDA covers mostly food and anything farm related. And, it, and they also talk about like, places to get information about farming and gardening and things like that. But where it says menu there, it, you can pull up the recall. So the menu is that little blue thingy there. So I'm going to pull that up real quick. And I have this on the page. At the very bottom there, it says recalls. And I just want to see if there's anything new. Hopefully nothing. But at last time I checked, there weren't any. Oh, I saw Lou Gossett. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's, um. oh, the officer and gentleman. Gentleman. Yes. That's cool. Yeah, that was a that was a nice movie. And I liked him in Roots. Yeah, there's nothing major here, so that's good. Um, yeah, these are low, what I would call low class. Although these are they're back to these burritos. So there are these burritos. <laughs> it's called Jen's Breakfast Burritos LLC. Ready to eat breakfast burrito products due to possible listeria contamination. This happened in uh March the 10th, and if you go to the USDA website, you can read more about it. But it seemed like it had listeria, which is a uh, bacteria in there, in these burritos. And I'll show you the name. And I can't put it on my screen since my screen's acting weird. But that's what it looks like. And you see, that's the high, you see the product contamination. And there's things like that you, that you can find out. And, uh, and then there was a thing with um, turkey sausages from Psalm. And this is going back to March 7th. So luckily we don't have any new ones, but this is Tur Polish, it's Johnsonville Polish Kielbasa turkey sausage products due to 
foreign matter, product contamination. And let me see what it was, what was in here. Single piece of, it's in Spanish. Let me see if it, yeah. And, the, and these are current. You know, these are the, only the most current ones. Uh, anything else? What is the item in here? Hold on. Let's click on that. So what they found was, let's see. Oh, they found pieces of rubber. <laughs> so sometimes those machinery things pop into the machinery and into the food products. So things like that. So they always like to tell people, you know, like what's happening with the food. And I don't know if you can see this, but, um, you know, they always say you can return the product. See where it says the problem was discovered after the firm received complaints from consumers reporting they found pieces of rubber in the ready to eat turkey kielbasa products. So, you know, things like that. So luckily the 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 recall area is is slow and there's nothing major going on. Thank goodness. But you know, usually I just like to check once or twice a month just to see if anything's, you know, going on. But the USDA and the FDA, you know, they well the FDA regulates cosmetics, food, pharmaceuticals. I'm trying to think what else. Anything that's going to go in your body. Anything that basically goes in your body. Yeah. <laughs> so when you hear about like pharmaceuticals being um, recalled, it's usually the FDA. But the FDA and the USDA work very, very closely together, you know, with the food and stuff like that. So, but anyway, but luckily, you know, nothing too crazy right now. I mean, the listeria is kind of scary, but uh, just, you know, take a look on that site and you can read for yourself and see if you have any of the products. And they always tell you the lot numbers and things like that. So let me just take another look. Sticking my head down there. Oh, it's nice and brown. Ooh, it's looking good. Woohoo! Just a little bit more. Oh yes, this is looking great. So let's see. Oh yeah, Luke. Yeah, he's been around. I, I saw him in a movie. He was so young. I swear he looked like he was like eighteen, and it was something from back in the fifties. Yeah, he was up there. Yeah, you didn't know he was eighty-seven. Yes, isn't that crazy? Yeah, eighty-seven. So that was a nice little run, you know? Yeah, people are living a long time. Yes, he's been around a long time. Yeah, I forget what movie it was. And then, you know, he was on um, one of the TV shows back in the day. It was like, not Mary Tyler Moore, but the other one. Or maybe it was Mary Tyler Moore. Like, like, like he walked in there one day and I went, oh my gosh, and he had hair. Like he was always bald when I saw him. But he had hair when he was on that show. So that had to be like a, something from the 70s. It was crazy. Yes. Morning. Yep. Yeah, Mar yeah, Mar was here earlier. But thanks for popping back in. So Shelly said, PSA, I'm not, oh, annoying people for fun. Oh, boy. That's good. <laughs> yeah, and then Lewis Gossett was in Officer and a Gentleman. And then he was in Roots. Yeah, that, that was a good one. And then what was that other movie? I think he has, like, one more really fancy movie that he was in. He did a Firewalker with Chuck Norris. Oh, Chuck Norris. Mm -hmm. Firewalker. Okay. Yeah. But he was up there. Yeah. 87. Yeah, see that that's that's my parents' age. Yeah, it's crazy. 87. Both of them. Yeah. So I'm like, ooh. Yeah, when you hear those ages, it's it's really interesting. Yeah. But this looks good. I am so happy. I think this is I think you guys are gonna like this. <laughs> I, I'm I'm amazed that this actually, you know, sometimes you never know how this is gonna come out, but it's looking pretty good. Let's see. Yes, Shelly loved him as an actor. He was a very good actor. And there was an alien type movie. Yes, that's what I was thinking of. The alien movie, Shirley. Yep. I don't know, but it was like a, a weird alien movie. Yeah, I know what she's talking about. I just don't know the names because I'm not. Oh, you had to go to the post office. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Oh, PSA, my annoying people comes natural. My annoying people comes natural now. Nice. Oh, Shelly, Shelly. You are you are a sweetheart. We know this. See, so you're hiding you're hiding the truth from us. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna take a little toothpick and just check this real quick. But it smells really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think we're yeah looking at the time. Oh yeah. So it's about 35 minutes. Now let's see. I'm just gonna check the cooking. I'm gonna bend over so. Um, I'm still here. <laughs> okay. Oh, this looks good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm, just a little bit more. Mm. 
Ooh, just a couple more seconds. Okay. Yet yeah, sticking just a little bit to the toothpick. All right, so we're almost done. Yes, PSA, Kelly <laughs> tells people secrets. I'm not sweet. Oh, no. We know this. <laughs> Enemy mine. Yes. That's it, Moses. Enemy mine. I don't know if he knows that one. What is it? Enemy mine. Mm -hmm. Sounds familiar. Yeah. It, yeah. I don't know how old, how old that movie was, but uh, it was good. But, so you guys ready for the drum roll? Hopefully this works out okay. <laughs> yes, this is looking pretty good. Because I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stop it. Like I got a, just a couple of seconds. So I put it in. 26 plus 35 is like 57. Yeah. So a couple seconds. It's looking good. All right. So yay. Let me see how this is doing over here on Instagram. So, Daryl, thank you for coming. And uh, I'm going to go back. Kevin, thank you. Patty again. Miss Patty. Patty, Southern Kitchen. Tom, 61793. David, let's see. David, MO612. And Creatively Thinking, 1025. And then Ray. Hey, Ray, how are you doing? <laughs> if you're still here. Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. 1985. Yeah, that's old. That's what I thought. I knew it was, it wasn't recent, like, because he was still really skinny, skinny, skinny. Yeah. And buff, you know? Yeah. You, Kelly, you laugh when I say I'm not sweet. Proof I'm not sweet. Uh oh. Oh, well, it's fine. You can drop your link. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to take this out. We'll take a look. Okay. So I'm going to hope, let me see. I'll switch spaces here. Let me take that down. So you guys ready for the drum roll? A little fake drum roll. Yeah. Oh, it's looking good. All right. I'm going to change places. Let me do this. Hopefully me changing places won't, won't cause a situation. All right. Here it goes. All right. Okay. Here it comes. Okay. Just praying I don't burn my hands here. <laughs> Keep my hands. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yes. Look at that. That's gorgeous. So there it is. Let me get my hand out of there. Okay. So there's the souffle. Wow. That was crazy. Let me turn that off. So there it is. Yeah, drum roll. Thank you, Maura. <laughs> so there it is. Okay, so it's beautiful. And <laughs> yes, isn't that gorgeous? Now, um, when my when the lady that I babysat for um did the souffle, she did she did like the darker cheddar. This is kind of a lighter cheddar, but the print but the color is very pretty. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Let me slide that back around here. There we go. Yeah, it's very hot. So yeah, there it is. So voila, as they say, yes. So hopefully it's good. But I think it it should be fine. Like I said, we use real cheese. We weren't playing, right? Uh, Morris says you want to see a, a side view. A si oh, a side view. Uh, oh, we'd love to see a side. You mean like this? <laughs> oh, like this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there you go. Side view. Beautiful, but that's gorgeous. Yep, and I think I'm good. Let me just, I'm just going to check. I just want to make sure it's done. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Yep. So that's the souffle. Woohoo! All right. Oh, uh, Shelly said, hold it up. Or Shirley said, hold, hold, hold it up. Hold okay. It up. Yeah, let me make sure I got a, I'm going to get a different thing here. I need to, I, I forgot my other glove. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to double glove this one because mm -hmm. it's hot. When I tell you that it's hot, it's like, it's, it's massively hot. Actually, it's, it's going down a little bit. Yeah. Yep. It was pretty high. Yeah. But it's it's slowly going down now. Yeah. There you go. Like shrinking a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. But there it is. Yeah. So that's it. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And um now if I had the uh this this one is a little bit some of some of the ram kit they're, they're not ram kids, but they're a little bit rounder, the mm -hmm. rounder size. It would probably be a little bit higher mm -hmm. and coming up higher. But they're that's not too bad. So mm -hmm. look yourself big now. Okay. But anyway, there it is. All right, so I'm going to see if I can. Let me switch. 
But there it is. Bam. All right. So I'm going to try to look, I'm going to do a little serve. And this is, and all the lady did was she just got a spoon and a, and a, and that's it. So let's see. I'm just going to pull this out. And it's a little, it's a little bit crunchy on the outside and a little bit soft on the inside. Ooh, and it's smoking. I don't know if you can see that, but it's smoking. Yep. But that's it. And it's done. But it's very hot. <laughs> but let me just put it there. Whoops. There it is. It's uh oh, it is really hot. I don't know if you can see the smoke coming out of that thing, but it is. I'll hold it, switch the mm -hmm. then I'll switch it over. Um, you gotta go forward just a little bit. Yep. And uh there it is. Let me switch over. Yeah, there you go. But see, I don't know if you can see the sm it's it, like the the smoke it's is coming off. Yeah. Oh, it, there is. it is. Yep. There it is. But there, there it is. Yeah. So that's the souffle. And I'm gonna try it just on a bite. I mean, that's for that's for Mister. I bring it. Okay. You you can see how it is. But you just I'm gonna take just a little just a little fork here, and I'm gonna take try a little bite. And it's hot. Just make sure you blow on it. It's very hot. Oh, it's good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Woohoo! I see why this would have been good with some bacon in there. Mm -hmm. we'll yeah, we could put put some bacon in there. It is in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a little cheesy. Let me switch over. Wow, that's really good. Mm -hmm. It's very cheesy. I will say I put a little um no, it's not gonna be eggy. It's not eggy. Yeah, it's more cheesy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the souffle. But it was good. So ham. Yeah, ham would probably be good in there. I hate to, even bacon. though I'm not a ham person. Mm -hmm. Bacon would be good in here. It's very cheesy. Yeah. But I think it would probably get salty. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. See, it's weird. Like, I think maybe I'll, I would just put, I would do the bacon on the side. Because mm -hmm. it, it is a little bit salty, I will say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but I put, like, garlic in there. And very sharp. Yeah, so it's got that sharp. It's kind of, the, like, I got the, me the medium sharp. It wasn't the mild, but I got the medium. Yeah. And not, but not the extra sharp, like a lot of times you get in Mara's laugh. I mean, Bren's laughing at Mara. <laughs> She's saying, hey, to Mara. Hey, but very cheesy. Yes, that's it. So, like I said, you just need to whip the egg whites. That mine. Yes, <laughs> that's what I always say. Mine. 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 Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, okay. That was wonderful. Okay. I'm like, we did it. Mm -hmm. So now we got to sing. We did it. Lo y Samos. We did it. That's very exciting. So it's Food Fridays. Um, like I said, buy fresh. Um, support your local economy. You know, try to check out those farmers markets and the farmers. And then <laughs> Artie said, no, it's mine. <laughs> I love it. Mine, mine, mine. Yep, that's it. So... But anyway, but thank you so much, you guys, for humoring me and sitting through my crazy cooking. But it's fun. Like I, I've been really enjoying it, and I enjoy the fact that people come and that you enjoy it. So Kelly's French cooking class. Yes, now I have to try the, uh, what's that weird thing that uh, Julia Child used to make? I don't know. Like like French food, I, I've, I've never really been, I've never been to France. But um, so I've never tried like half of these things. But this souffle I thought was pretty good because it's... Um, you know, like I said, I think it's a good, it's a good, it's fairly quick. You know, and I said, it, like, it really took 35 minutes. And that was about right. Oh, thank you. You enjoy. Yay. Thanks, Miss Mora. I appreciate it. And, um, uh-oh, the cat's typing. <laughs> TJ3MT2KMTWT2JT. We got to find out what that means. Oh, French onion soup. Now, I've never made that. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Oh no, I did make it. That was like a yeah, it was I yeah. I, I think I have the wrong um Ooh, quiche. Oh quiche. Okay. Egg pie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically what it is. <laughs> yeah, quiche is actually very good. And I like the um broccoli cheddar quiche, but they have a ham and egg. I don't forget but the quiche Lorraine. Quiche Lorraine is the uh ham and cheese one. Yeah. Ooh, maybe we'll have to try that. Okay, you want to try that one? Maybe soon? Sure. <laughs> yes. Quiche Lorraine or the other one. Yeah. Yes. It, it doesn't matter. Still got to do the Simone pulled pork. Oh, the pulled pork. Yes. So, well, anyway, Dave's working, but we'll have to 
Kid him. Hit, hit him up for <laughs> If you're listening, Dave, or just uh, send me an email or um, hit me up on Instagram and just let me know, like, another thing that we can add, you know, to the uh, Samoan recipe. Because I know he, the Pawnee Popo, I did get the recipe for that. And uh, did I forget what else? He, he mentioned two of them. But anyway, don't know. Oh, Layla is on the laptop. Spinach and cheese. Thank you. Yes, Shirley. That one's good. Yes. 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 Quiche Lorraine. Yep. yep, that's it. But the spinach, I love the spinach quiche. That's a good one. So anyway, well, listen, we made it in an hour. We did it. I can't believe it. Like, that's like amazing. We did it. <laughs> I was trying to keep it to an hour and he's coming back for seconds. So what is that? That proves that this is pretty good. It's good. It's going to kill me. For the There's his arm. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. So the fact that he came back is a good sign. So it, that means it's good. Yes. That's a shame. Now, we've been eating bacon all week, and I'm just like, I can't eat any more bacon. I like cheese. It just doesn't like me. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's an issue. <laughs> all right. Well, listen, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful uh, Easter weekend. Be safe. Be safe. Don't eat too much. Eat, eat well. And um, also, thank you for watching. Yay! That's really awesome. And the fact that you guys come back, I appreciate it so much. And, and thank you, VJ, wherever you are, um, for bringing people in today. That's awesome. Oh, bacon, cheddar, and onion quiche. Okay. Mm. Oh, onion. Mm. All right, Shelly. I hear you. Oh, and thank you. Yes, they're fun. Oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Now, you, I want you guys to let me know. Oh, this is what I wanted to say. Make sure if you try any of these things, just send me a, a – you can either send me an email or, you know, you can hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. And just tell me which one you tried and, and like, if you liked it. And if it's gross, you can tell me that, too. <laughs> you can tell me that, too. Yeah. Send Shelly all the chocolate. Yeah. So we'll have to try the chocolate. If it were not good, would he just go hungry? Well, I, he'll eat, you know, he won't eat well if I don't. I'm trying to get him on the, you know, on the right path. And and, and that's the, the plan. You know, that's the whole thing that sort of started this is that we were, we weren't, we weren't on a good plan and we were just trying to eat more. Yes. Yes. You too. Gunline. Have a happy Easter. Yeah. So happy, safe Easter. Enjoy the family time. Enjoy the uh, cooking time. You know, eat well, do the best you can, you know, try to avoid all that fast food and stuff and try to use fresh ingredients because it really does help. Mm -hmm. It really does. I mean, this was so good. I have to say, um, I'm like, oh, he's a male who eat anything. Ooh, she's not wrong. <laughs> oh, wow. So there's that. Yes. Well, see, he agreed. I hate to tell you, BJ. Yeah, I know. Well, those okay. And there you have it. I'm just gonna leave it right there. <laughs> um, is it is it healthy? Well, you know what's funny? There's not a lot of flour in here, you know, and it's mostly cheese. But you know, like I said, you can add um, you know, it's got butter. The only thing is um, you know, for anybody who's got lactose issues, this could be tough. And this is something that, you know, you can't eat this every day. But, you know, French people, like I said, my, that lady, every time I went to her house, which was probably about 10 times, she was making it. And it was usually on a Friday. Yeah. Which I was amazed, you know. And, um, and French people don't seem to have issues. Like, they're pretty, they're pretty skinny. I mean, not that skinny is everything, but they're not as o overweight and obese as we seem to be over here in the States, for, you know, the Europeans and stuff. So I don't know. It's very interesting. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. But yeah, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to look at the nutrition count on this because I haven't. I haven't. There, there's definitely a little bit more sodium than you might want. That's the, the one thing I would say. Yeah, I know. Gun lines laughing at Shelly. <laughs> Proof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is true. French bread. Yeah, they eat French bread. You know, baguettes, baguettes and uh, croissants and uh, duck. Duck Larange. That's, that's the one thing I always hear too. So I don't know. I mean, it's really interesting, but I'll, I'll, I'll put the uh, nutrition thing in the description. So it's good. Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, so uh, <laughs> Mora tossed some pollen in the uh, hives. Nice. Yeah, they, they do beekeeping um, on, on Sunday, I think. I don't know if you guys are going to do your beekeeping talk on this Sunday, but yeah, they do some bee beekeeping talk and, um, Prayers. Yes. 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 And some fellowship. There we go. 
man, I couldn't come up with the word. There it is. There it is. Yeah, and they eat a lot of bread and cheese, right? So I can't be bad. That's what I think, too. And like I said, she fed her little two-year-olds, and they ate this like no bit nobody's business. So there it is. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, listen, thank you again, and uh, we'll see you so soon. And once again, I'm going to say, oh, Bible study. You are. Okay. Can you tell everybody what time? Hold on. Bible study. And then, I forget what time it was, but I just, I saw your notification come in like came. Oh, she's got beekeeping. Yeah, we have a couple of beekeepers that are popping in. So that's good. So you, you'll see a bunch in there. Yep. Give me bread and cheese and I'm happy. I know. I love bread. I love cheese too. <laughs> I'm like uh, Urkel. I like cheese. <laughs> got any cheese? <laughs> 7 p.m. Central time. There we go. All right. So Gunline Bees, check them out. Uh-oh, sorry. Fast, fast fingers here. On uh, Sunday. There we go. 7 p.m. Central. And Sunday's the 31st. Yes, it is. Okay. Sweet. He said it's right, right? Yep. Yep, the 31st. We got it. So that's Easter Sunday. So have a blessed day. And uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll be back next week. And we'll figure out what we're doing. We don't know yet. We'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> but thank you so much. Clog my arteries. Clog my arteries. I know that's right. Hey. Oh, oh yeah, you're welcome. And always, always a pleasure. Yeah, it's easy. Okay. Clog my arteries. I like it. I'm gonna have to give it right there. <laughs> Clog my arteries. Okay. Well, Maritza, Maritza just showed up. Okay. Hola. Hola. E. Adios. <laughs> Maritza. But anyway, we're 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 heading out. But thanks for popping in. Okay, and bye, Miss Mora at Mindfully Crochet. Oh, thanks, Shelly. Peace and love to you also. Yay. All right now. Good to see you guys. And anyway, take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.